I'll start out. With okay. I was Shoot. born November the 10th, 1932 in Farmersville, Texas. But you just told me something today that your birth certificate says. Yeah, I sent for a birth certificate copy for our passport. And it came back that my <clears throat> birth date was November 15th. And old Dr. Yuri is the same doctor that delivered my mother and delivered me and Geraldine. We're the only two that were born in Farmersville. Were you born at home? Yes. Born at home. And that old doctor, they said, just made a list of the babies he delivered. And then at the end of the month, he'd probably write them down and send them in to the state. So, but your mom Ruth, said your birthday was on the 10th. Yes, and they told me not to worry about it. Ruthie's birthday is on the 15th. So our birth certificates say we were both born on the 15th of November. Not correct. Mm-hmm. Anyway, Maverick was born on my birthday. I met him... Did I meet him for the first last time? Last Christmas when... Did we... I meet him for the first time? No, Lynn and Dusty brought him down last Christmas when he was a tiny baby. They did? Oh, yeah. Okay. He's changed a lot since then. So, um, my dad was working on the Santa Fe Railroad. He started working on there when he was about... He got married. He and my mother were 19. He was 19. She was 17. Where did they get married? Uh, in Farmersville. And they had Geraldine, my oldest sister. And uh, when she was probably about three years old, we moved from they moved to Clovis, New Mexico from Farmersville. And then my brother Hales was born in Clovis, New Mexico. And my sister Estelle was born in Clovis. And my dad got laid off or whatever they did then. He was laid off, so he went back to the farm. And my mother was pregnant up. Oh, I guess already, but I was born, that's how I got to be born in Farmersville. Then the railroad called him back, and then Ruthie, Don, and Karen were born in Clovis. And then I get married, and Hilda, uh, Hilda Louise is born in Clovis. So, you grew up mostly in Clovis? That's most of your childhood? Yep. Well, during World War II, my dad was transferred to Belen, New Mexico. And we went to school there, I would say, all during the war. So what grade? But I do remember being in first grade in Ms. Honeycutt's class, because she gave me a spanking for wetting my pants. <laughs> Only it wasn't me, it was his old girlfriend, Eva. <laughs> she sat right in front of me. <laughs> she peed in her pants and the seats kind of curved like that. And it rolled down. And it rolled under my seat in Mrs. Honeycutt, or Miss, just jerked me up out of my seat by my arm and just whipped me good. That wasn't nice. And I... That cried. was where? Clovis? Clovis. No, yeah, and I cried and cried and I said, I didn't do it. You just feel my panties. They're not even wet. And she did. Mine were dry and Eva's were wet. I'll bet she felt bad. So she gave her a spanking too. I went home and told my mama on her... And my mama came and had it out with the teacher. <laughs> yeah. Good for your mom. I remember that so distinctly like it was yesterday. Yeah, kids don't forget that stuff. Then, so what grade what grades did you go to Berlin? In Berlin. Well, 
I don't know, remember what grade I was, but the war or started in what year or? Oops. What year did the war Break. start? World War II? Yeah, that's when we moved to Berlin. About 1941.